Hello. So in the last video, I spent three months making this big Mandelbrot loader. And uh, just to recap, it works by getting the iterations and changing the height of the blocks based off that. So now that I have this, it's much easier to add other stuff while the hard work is done. So let's have some fun. So before we get into the fractals, just real quick, I added a world painter. So to get that, um, you could turn off the height generator, that's also an option. But if you go down here, you can see toggle painter, and we're going to say true for that. There's also a few d different color palettes we can use, so for now I'll just use full rainbow. If you guys have any ideas for a color palette, just put it in the comments and I'll add it. And one more thing, I also added find coordinate. So if you could put in complex plane coordinates, it will give you where it is in the Minecraft world. So let's say I want to go to 0 0.2, 1.7, or 6, then it'll tell you that's exactly where that is in the Minecraft world. So that might be useful for you. Oh, and one more thing, since there's so many commands, I added this, which will print out every single important setting that you have on. And this seems right, so I can start the fractal loader. Sorry about that, there was a silly little bug, but I fixed it. So let's try this again. Fractal world on. There we go. So it works pretty much the same as last, as the last one, but it makes it color instead of height, which is probably what you're used to seeing, if you've seen this before. It does this by changing the highest block to whatever it is, so hope these villagers enjoy their new makeover. Um, <laughs> yeah, so let me just load this whole thing real quick. So yeah, this is the color representation of the Mandelbrot. And to be honest, I think this looks kind of awesome. I mean, just look at it. And of course, this works with any size, with any iterations, and with anything that works for the height generator. So I guess now I should show you all the new fractals I made, since making new fractals doesn't take long. So enjoy the compilation!
So those are all the fractals that I added, but they're not the only options that I added. To change the fractal you're using, just use this command, and it, it will list every single one <laughs> that I have here. So I also added the Colots conjecture. This is not a fractal, but it uses iterations to calculate something, so I'm using it. And for this one, the best scale is 1. And the starting seed for each block is just its x-coordinate times its z-coordinate. Oh, never mind. Um, scale 10 is the best one. Whoops. Well, yeah, for some reason it makes these curves. And it's kind of interesting, actually. Um, these go on for pretty much forever. And I'm just starting to notice that I can see some patterns showing up, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, I can, I can see a little grid showing up, actually. I never knew that. Maybe this could actually be useful for solving the equation or something. <laughs> But the further out you get, the less land there is and more void there is. Mainly because most of them are overshooting the max iterations. And if we just teleport a few thousand blocks out... Yeah, so once you get 5,000 blocks out, they become really uncommon. And it looks like they're all the same color as well, so that's kind of cool. And lastly, I added random noise, just as an experiment. So, I mean, it's completely random. It's probably what you'd expect. Um, scale doesn't matter with this one. It'll just be random, no matter what. So, yeah. And lastly, all of these fractals work with the height generator. So, I'll just show that real quick. So here's the weird cousin. And I'll just cut back when it's done loading real quick. So yeah, just from loading Mandelbrot's Weird Cousin, it actually looks very different, and it got... It, it's really interesting, actually. There's some really flat areas, some long and spiky areas, and there's some pretty nice valleys. And of course, there's the whole chaotic region. And void. So the last thing I added came from this comment, asking if I could change the height independent of the level of detail. So I made that. There's two new options you could change, uh, being the initial height offset. This is at 63 at default, but if you want it to be higher or lower, you can just change that. And there's also a smoothing value. And this will make the mountains more smooth instead of like super steep pillars. So yeah, these are fun to mess around with, and I'll probably be playing with them for way too long. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. In the last video, I said that if this video ever hit 100 likes, I would share the source code. And just overnight, it got over 100 likes. So that's insane. So once my mod gets released on ModRamp, I'm still waiting on that, I'll be posting the source code there. I just don't know how to use GitHub yet, so it might take me a little bit, but once I figure it out, I'll be posting it there. But yeah, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!